So hi and welcome to this video. So today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be continuing continuing on in the uh, how to make your own form or poll uh, series. Um, what we're going to be doing today is we're actually going to be inserting the user's choices into the uh, database. So let's get started. So we're going to get we have the uh, submit button with the name of a vote. So we're going to go up here uh, above everything and we're just going to say if is set post vote which means if the button or if the uh, vote button is pressed which means the form has been submitted what we want to do is we want to say uh, poll option equals post poll option and obviously we need to sanitize this for extra security but we don't actually uh, well I'm not going to do it in this video because that will just overcomplicate uh, the tutorial but uh, so all I'm going to say is we're getting the uh, option from the poll option which basically means whatever radio button is pressed we're getting the value of the radio button and we're storing it in the poll option variable. So what we're going to do first is we're going to say if uh, poll option equals nothing which means they haven't uh, selected a radio button we're going to say uh, die uh, you didn't select an option. Then we're going to say uh, else. Then we're going to insert their option into the database. So that's easy as well. We just say MySQLI query connect goes here first. And then we put in the query. So we're going to say insert into uh, questions. That's uh, we actually we're not going to insert we're going to update the questions uh, sort of field so we're going to say update questions set uh, votes equal to uh, let's say votes we actually okay we need to put this down here so we have access to the votes variable from the database so let's just cut that and go down here where we have this here we're just going to paste this in below here below the while loop and what we're going to do is we're going to get the votes from the database as well so we're going to paste this in here whoops copy that and paste it below we're going to say votes uh, equals I think it's the third uh, index but let's just have a look uh, it's the second, so that's zero, that's one, and that's two. So we're going to get votes by changing this to a two. And then what we're going to do is, since we have access to the votes variable, we're going to say uh, new vote equals votes plus one. Let's say new votes. So now what we want to do is we want to set uh, votes equal to new votes where uh, poll ID equals poll I uh, whoops not poll option poll ID um, and then we also want to update another uh, field we want to say set once we've said set votes equal to new votes we want to say set uh, IP address equal to IP, which is an IP, which is the IP we're going to get from the user, and the IP address is going to be I. We're going to set the IP variable, or yeah, the IP variable equal to uh, the global or the super global variable server, and then we're going to say remote underscore addr. So now that we've done that, that should be all we need to do. We're just going to go down here. And we're going to say die. Whoops, uh, you voted successfully. So let's uh, go back here and we're going to refresh the page. So we're going to click on, um, let's say, test question and click vote. It says you voted successfully. So if we go to questions now and we click browse, okay, votes uh, didn't get updated. So, um, Okay, so the reason that wasn't working as expected is because we're setting it equal to the question variable, which is this variable up here, and that variable, the variable we're getting from that is the last row from the data, as the uh, sort of the question that was last uh, given out in the query. So what we actually need to get is the um, 
where is it? The poll options. So we need to set that equal, or we mean we need to go to here and change whoops question equal to poll option, and that should uh, correct the problem. So let's refresh the page now, and we're going to click test question now. We'll click vote and refresh. Uh, uh, okay, we have um, that increased to three votes. Let's try test question again. Uh, Okay, so we have another bug. Let's see where, what's happening. Um, the reason that's not working is we move, let's try uh, re. Let's try surrounding that in single quotes. And let's go up here and refresh. So the reason for the uh, votes problem is actually because we're up here we're saying new votes equal to votes plus one and the votes plus one is uh, sort of this variable up here and this is the variable that we're getting from the last row in the database so basically what it's doing is it's saying go to second question take the votes from the uh, second question and add one to it which is why we got three the first time but since we're trying to increase the test question one we're not increasing second question which is why the votes aren't going up. So, uh, to fix that, what we have to do is um, just to come up here and cut this and paste it up here within the while loop, and we should that should uh, solve our votes problem. So let's just try this again. Click test question, click vote, and click browse. And as you can see, the votes went up by one. So the next thing we need to do is we need to record the IP address of the user. So we've got that stored in a variable. So what we need to do is we need to say, or create another MySQL I query. And we want to say, uh, update polls set IP address equal to uh, IP address. Uh, let's say new IP address. Um, we're going to get that from up here. We're going to say, uh, let's go down here actually, and we'll say uh, IP address, or new IP address even, equals uh, IP address dot, um, that's to uh, append something. We're going to put a comma, and then we're going to say uh, IP, which should uh, append a comma plus the IP address, or actually we'll say IP address comma. Uh, what should um, append uh, the, uh, the IP address to the or, or sorry the IP address of the new voter to the IP address uh, the IP addresses we're getting from the database. So for example, if I had uh, 192.81.210.96 in the database, uh, which would have a comma actually, uh, then what would happen whenever the next person voted is their whatever IP address dot whatever dot something dot whoops that's uh, too many but as you can see that that's the way it would work so it would end like this and we'd have two IP addresses and if we didn't have any IP addresses it would just basically append the IP address to the nothing which is just what well, I mean it can do it so basically the way this would work is actually put an equals in here is we could say uh, if there was no one had ever voted in this poll, then new IP address would be equal to nothing. So what it would be basically doing is appending IP address. I mean, IP address would be equal to nothing. So what we're basically doing is appending IP and then a comma. So if it was equal to nothing, it would just look like this in the database when someone voted. And then we just put a comma here. So that's what it would look like. So let's just go back here and go back down here. And this should actually just work. We actually just have to put in where um, poll ID equals poll ID. So let's just check the database to make sure this is going to work. So let's go to polls uh, or poll ID equals poll ID. So that should work. So let's try this out now. So let's just refresh the page. Uh, and what we're going to do is we're going to uh, just click test question, click vote says you voted successfully so let's browse uh, okay so we're having a problem with that
Okay, so the reason uh, we're getting this weird sort of IP address. Okay, so the reason we're getting this sort of weird IP address is because uh, we're using the remote ADDR function in PHP, but um, what that's given, what's that do? Well, sorry, what's that? What's that's doing is it's um, uh, giving us an IPv6 address because my computer is sort of configured to work with IPv6 as well as IPv4. Um, which is why we're getting this but for example if I put it on my live server what it would do is it would give us an IPv4 address because it's not configured to run on IPv6 so this should work on a, on a live server but it's probably not going to work on localhost which is the reason we're getting this uh, IP address uh, sort of this weird one with the two colons and the one but rest assured that's it working actually it's just since my computer works with IPv6 it's sort of messed it up a bit but uh, the only other thing we have left to do is to check whether the person's already voted for voted before. So uh, if we go down here and we say you voted successfully, uh, before this we want to say we want to put in a check and say uh, if in a if we actually want to say um, we're going to uh, say IP address underscore e let's just say IP address e equals uh, explode uh, let's say uh, we're gonna explode by the comma and then we're gonna give it the IP address variable then what we're gonna say is if in underscore array uh, what we're gonna be looking for is IP so let's say uh, IP uh, in let's well, the hash stack is going to be uh, the IP addresses so let's say IP address underscore e because that's the array then we're going to uh, say die you've already voted you've already voted and then we're going to say else and then we're going to let the person actually vote So let's give it a go. So let's click test question and what should happen is it shouldn't let me vote. It says you already voted. Let's go back to our our questions table uh, and I'm just going to check did it go up. So let's just try it again. It shouldn't have gone up. So as you can see it didn't go up. But if I go to polls and I click edit, I'm going to delete this and I'm going to try and vote. I'm actually going to go to questions and I'm going to click uh, check all just to get rid of, to uh, select them all. I'm going to change it. Then I'm going to say zero uh, and zero here just so that all the votes go away. And I'm going to click test question uh, and I'm going to click vote. So it says you voted successfully. My vote got counted. Uh, if I try to vote again for say a second question, you've already voted. And if we go back here. As you can see, it didn't let me vote. So another thing we can do just before I go is we can uh, go over here and we can say, uh, let's say votes. Votes. Um, votes. So let's just, just give us um, sort of uh, the number of votes. So it has one vote, zero votes. So let's just give it one more go. Let's just click edit. Uh, let's delete that. And I'm going to vote for the second question this time. So zero votes and zero votes. So let's click vote. Uh, and we just have to refresh again. Let's see. Okay, that didn't work. Um, okay, so. Okay, what happened was we need to just type that. So uh, let's go back here. And try and vote again. So let's click second question, click vote. You voted successfully, and our vote got counted. So uh, that's all really we have to do for the poll. The poll that's basically the basic poll done. I mean, you could do things to make it look nicer, like for example, uh, in the How to Make Your Own YouTube series, we have sort of the like button that the green and the red sort of resize themselves depending on the number of likes and dislikes. You could do something similar to that with the votes, but for now, I'm going to keep it simple. So we have one vote here and zero votes here 
and the test question and second question are the two questions that we have. So the only thing you have to do is you put in the you give the, each poll an ID. Um, I'm not going to make an option or I mean a way to create a poll because I mean it's not hard to just go into a database and then insert your questions unless you're trying to get it to be usable by end users so for example if you want people to be able to create their own polls then you would need a form to create your own polls but if it's just you to put on your website uh, then you don't actually need it and actually I'm going to put a poll like this on howco.org uh, it's going to be a weekly poll and I'm going to have um, something similar to this I'm just going to use this code probably from this video so uh, just uh, look out for that and I'll see you next time